Robert Ed. Stravote. And welcome back to our little Bulgarian adventure. Coming towards the end of August and it's started to cool down. Oh, yes, it's been <laughs> quite blissful this week at some days, hasn't it? We've had rain, we've had storms, yeah. we've had overcast days. It's, uh, it's actually been a bit of a relief after the really high temperatures. <laughs> it was, yes. And it, it all started Sunday, I think, didn't it? It did, yes. Um, Sunday we had another day out. Another day out. <laughs> and a delightful day out. It was, yes. Yeah, we spent the day with... Lee and Emily and Hudson from Derelict Dream, our Derelict Dream. Yeah. There's a link to their channel somewhere. Adam will put one in. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll be here. Um, <laughs> but but uh, we had a fab day, didn't we? We did, yes. Thank yeah. you very much, guys. We really enjoyed it. Yeah, really good food, really good company. And Hudson is even more delightful in real life. Oh, yes. Than he is in the videos, and that's saying something. <laughs> But yes, a lovely day. Yeah. Really good. I mean, we must definitely do it again. Um, but while we were there, they had a storm there. Yes. Um, we left Max here, who insisted on staying behind to look after the animals. Yes. Um, and when we rang him to make sure he was okay, he said, yeah, it's raining here as well. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it, we had had a real downpour, hadn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, but the garden and the grounds all need it. Um, and we've had rain on and off all week. Yes, mainly overnight, which is nice. Yeah. Um, um, but we've had a few afternoon showers, but that's, it's nothing much. No, not really. But it has certainly brought the temperatures down. It had it has had one one side issue, which is that the flies and mosquitoes seem to have come back in abundance. I think with the humidity, they've suddenly yes. all started going woof. So we've become lunch again. Yeah, yeah. I think. <laughs> I don't think I've been bitten much at all this summer till this week, and yeah. about Wednesday, I suddenly started getting bitten mercilessly. Yes. Yeah. But okay. apart from that, and say it's all good because it is cooler. Yeah. And we have, the garden has definitely needed it. It has. Now, um, the garden is also suffering a little bit for another reason. Our puppies. The puppies. Um, you remember early in the year, we couldn't get much done in the garden because of Winston Tilly and Sophia. <sighs> well, now it's the puppies. <laughs> yes, you were slowly taking my beds apart one by one. Um, as a result, we've decided we're going to extend the dog compound. Although most of the puppies will be going to new homes, there, there may be the odd one or two that stay here. Um, but we thought we'd extend the dog compound anyway, um, to give them all somewhere to run around and spend their time. And, uh, this and, is just, what... and just in case they don't get on. In case, yes. you don't know how well they'll get on with Winston and Tilly yet. It may be a case of integrating them slowly. Yeah. Um, but this is what we've done so far. At the moment we have a couple of areas where Winston and Tilly and the dogs can go. This is the inside of the old barn. It's good because it's got a solid roof, solid walls. It's good shelter for when we get the thunderstorms. But it is a bit dark, it is a bit miserable. And, well, I wouldn't want to spend my, too much of my time in here, so I don't see why they should. We also have the enclosure and kennel area that we made for them earlier in the year. Where they spend quite a lot of their time when we're working. Uh, if we can have them with us, we, we do. But it gives them a bit of room to run around at the back, gives us some shelter, some shade in the sunny days. Um, they're quite happy in there. But we're gonna have an additional problem of we may have extra dogs that we need room for. It might start getting a bit tight in the enclosure. So we have to come up with a new plan. This area here is the courtyard between the two barns. It's a little overgrown at the moment. We've uh, let things slide a bit as we've been doing work in the house and keeping the woodlands under control. We have to tidy up this area and put up some fences, which may make Mike and Naomi laugh because they did have a fence here, which we took down. Once we have this area enclosed and safe, it's a nice large area for the dogs to be able to run around. More dogs, more space. One of the plans is to put a fence across from the front of the barn the side fence with a gate in it that'll create us an area inside the gate as which we're calling the airlock area which means we can bring things in and out without the dogs trying to escape the other fence will run from the edge of the new barn along to the end of the wall you can just see there on the left hand side along that wall to the other barn that will also have a gate in it just to get things through like wheelbarrows and building materials uh, but be able to enclose half the area of the courtyard for the dogs to be able to run around and uh, just generally enjoy themselves. 
there are various ways we can put the posts in. This time we've decided we're going to use these post holders. So when you dig some holes, fill them with concrete and set these into them. The posts will then bolt into the holders at the top and that'll give us the supports for our fence. So there we have another hole dug for the uh, concrete to go into and then the post holders will fit into the concrete and the post into the post holders. Got a few more of these to dig then we'll be ready to do the concreting. We've had to change our plans along this wall here and as we tried to dig the holes we were coming across more and more rock so we basically just dug out a trench. We're going to fill the trench with concrete Use some of the stones we dug out to top the wall so it doesn't look like a concrete wall, it looks like a stone wall. We'll embed the post holders into the wall while it's drying, then they'll set firm and we'll be able to put our fence along the edge of this wall. This is just a small sample of the rocks we dug out of that trench. You can see we weren't going to dig a hole through those, so um, the only way was to dig it out. Well, we've done that, the hard work's done. Well, that part of the hard work. Just got to make up some formers and fill it up with concrete. I've put together a temporary former for the concreting of this part of the project. It's not going to be anything particularly impressive, but as long as it just keeps the concrete in place while it sets, that's all I need. I'll be doing this bit here along with the holes, all with the holders in, um, allowing them to set up before I start to put up the posts for the fence. I've lined the back wall with plastic. This is so that when we pour the concrete in, it has a barrier between the stones and the concrete. So if we ever need to remove the stones from behind the wall I'm about to pour, they won't be bound into the concrete. They should be easy to remove. Hopefully that works, we'll find out. Here we have the wall, it's not really a wall, it's just something to put the uh, post holders into. And something to give it a solid foundation. We put the stones in the top to give it a bit more of a rustic look. And it seems to have come out quite nicely. 
you can see the post holders are held quite securely there's no movement at all on it which you'd expect embedded in concrete um, all ready now for fitting the posts and then erecting the fence and where we don't have the wall we put them in holes fill them up with concrete and embedded them in that they also are solid as a rock so next job is the fence but we'll be doing that next week so that's the project for next week getting the fence up getting the gates up getting it dog proof yeah <laughs> it's uh the weather certainly helped this week with the concrete it has it? yes um that was a, a quite a busy physical day but that was quite good fun yeah <laughs> it's actually quite nice because we to get get something done in a day <laughs> yeah after spending months on one room to actually do a little wall in a day is quite nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> you did enjoy that yeah more updates on the puppies um yeah. they're due their vaccine on their second vaccine on tuesday um at which point they've almost fully weaned off their mother yeah they'll be ready ish to go to their new homes um so if you said you want a puppy if you uh, are taking a puppy we'll be in contact just to confirm details if you still want a puppy there are a couple still available yeah but um they won't be for very long i don't think so. no they're very cute now <laughs> um and just to update you on their progress here they are So yes, for us this year, it's definitely been a summer of puppies. Yeah, the year of the dog, we're calling this. Um, <laughs> or the dogs. <laughs> or the dogs, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, they have quite affected our progress, certainly in the garden and, and on the house. Yeah, we can't start the next section until we've moved them out of the corridor that they're in. Because okay. be too, we couldn't do building work with them around. So, so uh, there is a logical reason for us doing the compound. Yeah, let's move them all down there. <laughs> On a completely unrelated note. Yeah, um, we want to send our best wishes to our friend Ivan. Yeah. Who's uh, due out here yeah. next month. Two Just weeks time. Two weeks time. Yeah. And they got rushed into hospital with appendicitis. Yeah. We gather he's now home and made a, made a bit of a recovery. So yeah. we we'll keep our fingers crossed for yeah. you, Ivan. And remember, Ivan, stay grumpy. Yeah. That's the and way they wait on your hand and foot. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, have, you have to take it easy. I know that's not going to be no. easy to do when you're two weeks off moving out here but another week won't hurt absolutely <laughs> so yep get well soon mate yeah we're thinking of you yeah well i think that's probably about it for us this week 
Yeah, definitely. We've got no other news. No, um, it's all ticking along as it does. Yeah, nice quiet week, nice yeah. bit of rain. And yeah, more of the Bulgarian adventure. <laughs> <laughs> so until next week. Doskoro. Doskoro. Stay safe. And stay well. And we'll see you then. Bye. Bye. Thank you.